here at Three Brothers Incorporated. I want to bring you inside and show you around here, north side. This is where it all happens. This is where the brothers all handle their business. As you can see, we have our, our bus. This is not one of our nicer buses, but this will be out next year. This is a new model that we're working on. I want you to come inside. I don't do much here at my desk. I usually am out running ass and, you know, uh, working on the trucks and so on. What the hell's wrong with you? What? And then here's Gary's desk, played by Vince Vaughn, who's my uh, second oldest brother. And then we have, if you can just shoot through here, this is the boss, this is Dennis, played by Vincent D'Onofrio. Uh, what's this? Don't patronize me. Hey, hey, helicopters, those are helicopters. Yeah. Get a nice shot of the Polish flag. We're all Polacks in this movie. Real proud of it. And uh, we'll bring you into Dennis's room. Another great flag of the three brothers. Bus tours, find out what all the bus is about. And uh, as you can see, we all pretty much look alike. I, I would say Vincent and Vince, for sure, look like brothers. I'm kind of the, the red-headed stepchild of the group. <laughs> but uh, hey, you know what, anything can happen when you're a Pollock, so. Well anyways, thanks for coming out. And I hope you enjoyed the, the little tour here of uh, Three Brothers Incorporated. And uh, we'll see you down the road. side of Chicago, we're the old 97s. We got Ken, Murray, Philip, and I'm Rhett. All right, all right. Anyway, we got the gig because Jay, one of the writers, was obsessed with uh, one of our records while he was writing. And Vince we knew Vince from way back. We're here because we filmed a scene in the movie. It's a very cool scene where we played a bunch of songs and we jumped around and stuff. And we're the ones rocking out. This is real movie making. It's like Hollywood moved to Chicago. <laughs> Lot of fun at the rib it's an old theater built in 1919 it's where real bands play it's not just made up it's just for the movie started, yeah it's started a real off cool as a, place. a movie theater okay. and then they had vaudeville acts here it was actually one of the original theaters for live music to be played during movies so in the 20s that was a big thing kind of swept the nation but it started right here in this room but uh you can come here it's on the corner of um Broad and broadway something. and lawrence is that right? Very Broadway good. and Lawrence. You made that up. Good. If, I, if that's wrong and you're making this, put something you know below us that says what the real corner is. We worked this out beforehand. Okay. Yeah, yeah we had fun, man. We had fun playing yeah. it. We're stoked. Vince yeah. is a cool guy and um, everybody in it seems really nice. All right, all right. Welcome to my favorite stop on the breakup tour. I'm standing at the corner of Clark and Addison outside of Wrigley Field, the friendly confines. I grew up going to Wrigley since I was a little kid. My dad pulled me out of school from 1984 to 1993. I made it to every opening day. We're fortunate enough to have season tickets in the building. So this is really one of the most famous crossroads in the city and in all of sports. The fact that we were lucky enough to shoot here is a dream come true. Welcome to Wrigley. You're not watching a movie being made, you're watching a ball game. And you're cheering for the ball game, you're cheering for your team, or you're booing for the opposing team. I was excited, I'm excited about the game. Go Cubs, go Cubs! By opening the movie here, it really sort of celebrates it as a Chicago movie, which is very much a character in the story. Good seat, buddy! Come on, it was a good play. 
being a Cub fan and a Sox fan, it's the North Side South Side split. So it's a, as much cultural, sometimes socioeconomic, but also sort of where you grew up, your neighborhood. I got no room to sit. I'm sitting next to a guy who's sitting like he's at home on the toilet with his please legs spread. Please, bro, relax. Please look at me. Look how I'm relaxed. Sitting. So the fact that she would be at a Cub game with this country clubber, saying that she's from the North Side, and Gary's roots might be more South Side, it really sort of captures the essence of their two characters. Do you want one of the hot dogs? You can have a hot. You want a hot dog? Do you want a hot dog, Chris? No. The problems they have, you can sort of imagine Gary almost might be a Sox fan at heart, though he's very much a Cub fan in this movie. And Brooke being the North Sider, it helped in a way to just sort of frame their dynamic. So you think we should do it? Well, I'm going to go, so. What's a good icebreaker for a first date? I, I don't know. Because I don't want to get into something weird, but I walk the bases, and all the way out to center field with the 400, touch the eye, they touch the floor. And I felt a different energy. I felt a good energy and a positive energy, and I have brought the magic. And this isn't just like, oh, the Cubs are going to win. At some point now, the Cubs are going to win this year. I put the heat to on. I'm not kidding. I look like a guy who's joking around about I'm being dead serious. I brought the magic. The love is here. Right here. Right now. Everybody. Welcome to Three Brothers Bus Tours. I'm brother number two. Hi, I'm Vince Vaughn. We're here at the actual Chicago River where a lot of the tours start. What I'm not kidding about is having a great tour, keeping it fun, and turn the whole thing into a super experience for everyone, okay? Up here, if you see just where that bridge is, is Michigan Avenue. That's where we show, shot the opening scene with the uh, tour bus. Uh, the Three Brothers tour bus in one of the earlier scenes in the movie when we pull out onto Michigan Avenue to start the film. Very relaxing trip down Michigan Avenue here. It's a beautiful city. That's the uh, famous Wrigley building. You have the Tribune building right over here to your right. You can see it. There is no running. There is no diving. If you do want to jump off the boat and swim, for the love of God, take a shower first. This is not a bathtub, OK? Here we're on the Chicago River. This is the actual place where a lot of the tour boats start. Your tours and finish your tours at some boat passers by. We can't wave to them because we won't ever be able to hold them to get a hold of the sign releases. And that's it. So I uh, hope you enjoy the tour of the city. Thanks for being here with us. See you down the road. Hi, I'm John Favreau. I play Johnny O, and this is the uh, Skylock Bar on Halstead Street on the south side of Chicago in Pilsen, if you're looking for it. We have a couple scenes here, a real neighborhood type place. Uh, they didn't really change it much. It's kind of what it looks like. It had a really nice, uh, nice atmosphere for the scenes. And this is uh, the bar that my character owns. It's where Vince's character comes to hang out. He's nothing to be ashamed of. She hurt you. Right, will you look at me? I'm not hard. I'm a little shocked. I'm a little surprised. Hey, you're devastated. Now, what's the name of the guy she's doing? Where I give him advice, often not that well informed. Have you checked your email? I don't check the emails. But you oh, get a program that records keystrokes. It costs like 20 bucks. Very easy to use. Uh, when Vince Vaughn and John Favreau get together and do scene work, some amazing, amazing stuff can uh, come from it. And I can actually give you now a really sneak peek into the process. I know you guys are doing some scene work. Uh, is this how you prepare for, uh, for a scene? Um, it calms my nerves and relaxes me to feel like, hey, I'm out in the ship and I'm fighting Uh-huh. Go along, grab one more. Right, 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 right. Promise me. I got you. Got it.
Hi, I'm Andrew Laws. I'm the production designer on The Breakup, and this is our stage facility here in Chicago. I think it's going to work. When we initially came to Chicago, uh, we were looking for something to build our primary set in, which is their condo for Gary and Brooke, which is you can see off in the distance here. So we ended up coming here to the General Jones Armory, um, which when we first walked in was filled with Humvees and cannons, and it's actually a functioning armory that's located at 5200 South Cottage Grove in Chicago. There have been a number of other things that have happened here, including bears practice, and I was told they actually raced motorcycles in here at one point. And actually, I think most people walked in and thought this is complete overkill. But in the end, as you can see, it ended up being an amazing amount of space for us. We fixed this place up together. You went in the bathroom and you dotted foofy shit. That's what There's you're no saying that I did. That was, that's called aesthetics. It warmed this place up so it didn't look like an army barracks. With this stage, we were actually able to build our entire set off in the distance. Um, which is a fairly sizable condo set on a platform with trans lights that were actually placed 30 feet away from the outside of the set so they could be lit properly. We were also able to fill the central floor space with a number of little sets that we had as rain cover and so on that uh, we were able to just have right next to the stage, the primary set, when we needed to run to them. But at the same time, what you don't have on a normal stage is having all of our facilities here all available to us right at hand. Hey, good luck, guys. Make it a great taste. Got it? Good. It was basically you know, a huge open covered space that we turned into a Hollywood soundstage in Chicago.